this video, we're going to be going over how to strip fiber optic cables. Now, I've got three cables here. One is a 48, and then two of them are 144 cables. Um, as for stripping these, how much we will need is five feet because these are loose tube fiber cables. So, I've already taken it from the end here and marked it out five feet in a ring cut. Now, there's a few ways of opening these cables. I've found the fastest way for me and for other people I have taught is to, I use a hook blade, you can use a ring cutter if you like, get the proper tool, it's the best route, but I've, I've been comfortable with the hook blade. They're cheap, very effective, but you must be very careful with them. It'll cut you to the bone if you're not paying attention. Now, we'll start with the 48 cable, the smallest one. All I'm doing is literally, I'm going to make a ring cut mark around here, about five, six inches. So it's as simple as making your ring cut. Once you can feel you've gotten through the plastic coating and you can feel some metal, you'll be able to tell. You can go ahead, and bend it over a bit. I like to use a circular motion like so. And once you do that, it'll break the inner sheathing the metal and then you can just go ahead once the whole thing all the sheathing is cracked around the whole way it slides right off simple exposing your two rip cords now a lot of guys will just try to tug and run into a lot of problems the reason i like my hook blade instead of a ring cutter because now i can come in here pull the rip cord to the side and i can go in here and start do a little a little nick in there to start give the give the ripcord something, an easier route, instead of trying to pull it straight through the metal and just cut the metal. Because going with that route nine times out of 10, you end up breaking your ripcord, causing you more time spent on opening these cables. Now we're gonna have the same process for all three cables. I'm going to ring cut them, pull the sheathing off, make a nick for the uh, ripcords, and then go ahead and pull those down and go from there. So I'm just going to get right into it and do all three of these cables for you guys and show you how fast you can strip and prep fiber optic cables. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and uh, show any comments or questions you have down below. Thanks for watching. Now we have all three cables ready to have the rip cords pulled. Go ahead and throw a glove on, something to protect your fingers. The, not, the cut proof gloves is the best route to go because that's how strong these rip cords are that they will even cut the cut proof gloves. So pay attention, get a firm grip on it, grab it like that, grab a few, finger around a few times, put some leverage on it, and then pull with the cable. Don't keep pulling off to the side or this way. Wherever the rip cord is started and it's on that side, just think about the path it's gonna take and you have to follow that same path. As soon as you get off of it, you'll end up breaking your rip cord. Now there's metal arm inside of these cable. So you have to ground the cable as well. So we are pulling these rip cords 
about an inch, inch and a half past the ring cut mark so we can go ahead and put a bond clamp on and actually ground each cable. There's your bond clamp. It's peeled now. Peel the cable out as you can see. There's the plastic sheathing and the metal sheathing in there. You're gonna want to cut all that off. I'll bring you guys back down here for a better view. Snip off the outer sheathings. very sharp sheathing should be wearing gloves my hands are like leather from 10 years of doing this so i'll be fine but any of the uh, you new splicers out there be sure to wear gloves because you will get cut all right so now we got that just to get this uh moisture tape bundle off you just go ahead be very gentle, just only get under it, watch your tubes, don't grab a tube and slice a tube. Once you get all four of the strings cut, or moisture tape, whatever you want to, whatever acronym you guys want to use. Alright, simple as that, slide them off. Come back in, clean these up a bit. the first flat spot in front of your ring cut just twist the same way it's rolling hold in the same position until it gets to there go to the next one do it again quick there'll be another little moisture string in there you can get rid of slide those out get your strength members separate it and go ahead and snip those five six inches all you'll need Oh, those 
cables are ready to be grounded. Let me ground them right quick. nice when taping them do not put too much pressure down on here because you will crush tubes and you will have create losses in your network and you will think it's a splice loss it's not a splice loss it's a crushed tube because you crank the ground on with the tape too tight and it's flattened the tube out now if you're lucky and you find that loss and the fiber's not broken from flattening too so much, you can come in here with a small pair of needle nose pliers and you can pinch that tube back open and your loss will go away as long as you don't have any broken fibers from it. But I have done it and it has worked before. So just a little tip. All right, so we've got one more cable here. All right, we need to do a little ring cut on it. Start on the end, here's a little ring cutter to it. Most use this for drops, but use it on here too. I'm gonna pop that off. Got a little rip cord on the inside, red one. Don't need a glove for this one. Just only going through the plastic. Then I like to do another little ring cut down here. Make sure your blades adjust it accordingly so you don't cut your fibers. Pull the ring cord down past that mark. Rip cord, ring cord, whatever you want to call it. And only grabbing the plastic, holding onto the fiber, you can come down here and usually it'll pop right off. All right. Clean this up right quick. Same process as before. Oh, since this is a 48 fiber cable, you're going to have two dead tubes in here that are just plastic, two white ones. You just slip them right out, get them out of your way, get this moisture tape out of here, and cut your strength member to length. Just going to go ahead and ground it. And there you guys go. That's how you strip some fiber optic cables and get them prepped and ready to be entered into a closure. They're all grounded. Strength members cut to length. We're ready. We've got our feed marked out. First distribution, second distribution. And we also got some drops to add. But as for um, how to strip fiber optic cables, that is the fastest way I've come up with over the years. So if you guys uh, have any questions on how I open the cables or any other types of cables to open up, go ahead and let me know in that comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. 
we're gonna be doing a lot more videos from here on in so stay tuned we'll see you in the next one